meet Ilana Marr. I took that lesson straight to the rugby pitch. I passed harder. I ran harder. I tackled harder. And it didn't take long until I was named one of the best rugby players in the country and was recruited for the USA Rugby Sevens team. Marr is part of the United States women's rugby team who just captured the bronze medal at the 2024 Paris Games. The first time in our country's history this has happened. And while Mara would celebrate, the disdain people had for her was paramount. Hi, thank you for this comment. I think you were trying to roast me, but this is actually a fact. I do have a BMI of 30. Well, 29.3 to be more exact. I've been considered overweight my whole life. In middle school, elementary school, high school, I was always considered overweight. I remember vividly one time in high school, I did turning the physical to the office and right at the bottom of the page, it said overweight. And I was so embarrassed to turn that in and to, to have that written there. So my whole life I've been this way. Um, I chatted with my dietitian because I go off of, you know, facts and not just what, what pops up here, you know, <laughs> like you do. Um, and we talked about BMI and we talked about how it really isn't helpful for athletes. BMI doesn't tell you much. It just tells you what your height and weight and what that equals. Uh, I've said it before, I'm 5'10", 200 pounds. And I have about, and it's this is an estimate, but about 170 pounds of lean mass on me. Do that math in your head, you probably can't. Um, that's pretty crazy, right? And that BMI doesn't really tell you what I can do. It doesn't tell you what I do on the field, how fit I am. It's just a couple numbers put together. It doesn't tell you how much muscle I have or anything like that. So, yeah, I do have a BMI of 30. I am considered overweight, but alas, I'm going to the Olympics and you're not. And she would try educating the ill-hearted. As the Olympics officially start today, I want you all to take a look at all the different body types on display. All body types matter. All body types are worthy from the smallest gymnast to the tallest volleyball player, from a rugby player to a shot putter and a sprinter. All body types are beautiful and can do amazing things. So truly see yourself in these athletes and know that you can do it too. Cause simply, MAGA targeted her. So is this what patriotism is to you freaking far right ass going after an Olympian, a United States Olympian, which like, I don't know, when I was a kid, like that was the most <laughs> ah, ah, eagle sound patriotic <laughs> you could be. An Olympian on their way to a gold medal for the United States and you're gonna shit on it. Anytime you see any woman that's not a size zero, you're just like, they got a dick. Calm down with your bullshit. Do you understand that all the people who are sitting behind their podiums, whether a senator, congressman, former president, or whatever, that is getting you to worry so much about trans people, are just wanting you to turn their heads uh, while they do some truly nefarious shit. You moron. They want you screaming about all this while they pick your pockets. Also, do you have eyeballs? That's just a big, strong woman, right? Like... Dude, we all had lunch ladies bigger than her ass who would whip the sh out of us, and none of us, even for a second, thought that they were trans. And it led to this. I'm gonna be very real here for a second. As you can probably tell, I've been crying a little bit. I always get these comments, but like recently it kind of ramped up was I get comments called being called a man and being called masculine and ask if I'm on steroids. There will always be negative people out there. And they put women in a box and they think of women should be fragile and petite and quiet and meek. But that's not the case. Women can be strong and they can have broad shoulders and they can take up space and they can be big. I think I'm getting emotional because I feel very passionate about this. Don't let anybody try to define or dictate how you feel about yourself. You get to decide that. At an earlier time, she discussed becoming more confident. See these bad boys right here? See these? Those are my shoulders and they're big and they're broad and for a while I was always ashamed of them. I got this comment and I resonated with it so much because I always tried to hide my shoulders as well. I always had really long hair because I wanted to cover it and see more feminine. And it's really taken years of learning and deprogramming to love my big shoulders and to really find them beautiful. I even had a teammate recently who was wearing like a cardigan and I was like, oh, why, why are you wearing that? We're going out. And she's like, oh, you know, I don't really still not uncomfortable with my shoulders. And so it, was, it dawned on me that Damn, there's still work to be done and there's still people who are uncomfortable with their shoulders. Here's how I look at it. First off, the shoulders are beautiful. Second, those are the shoulders you have and you're gonna have for the rest of your life. They're gonna be that big until you die. So I think it's a lot of learning to accept them and learning to find the beauty in them. 
Like to me now, these shoulders make you want to take notice. When I walk into a room, people see it. I want to put my shoulders back and people notice me. But men won't find big shoulders attractive or if I'm muscular, they won't, I won't find a husband. I'm telling you right now, there are men that find it extremely attractive and extremely beautiful. Do not worry, you might just be talking to the wrong men. So my advice, ladies, is day by day, learn to love, learn to accept them, learn to understand how powerful they are, what they can do, because that's you and your shoulders <laughs> you, for life. Just to go back to this comment she received via Maggie Ryan, BMI is calculated by dividing a person's weight in kilograms by the square of their height in meters, then using the answer to place them in a category ranging from underweight to healthy to overweight or obese. However, tons of experts argue we should not rely on BMI when it comes to assessing one's health. She'd continue in the year 2023. The American Medical Association announced a new policy urging doctors to not rely solely on BMI to diagnose obesity for numerous reasons, including its inability to account for differences across race slash ethnic groups, sexes, genders, and age span, as well as its historical harm, its use for racist exclusion, and because is based primarily on data collected from previous generations of non-Hispanic white populations. So you see how this could be quite troublesome. The commenter is an idiot. Lastly, BMI is not a useful barometer for health on an individual level. So it definitely shouldn't be used as a way to body shame someone. In fact, while we're on the subject, no physical attributes should be used to body shame. Can we maybe just stop body shaming, period? Yeah, I wish. And as Mar says in a more recent TikTok where she has over a million followers, the Olympics are the perfect way to showcase that all bodies are capable and strong. I want you to look me dead in the shoulders and say that to me again. Say, put, put your full chest into it. Say it again. Have a good look and say it again. Yeah. She would then speak to CBS Mornings and say, I think there has always been a divide. People believing that, oh, when you play sports, if you're an athlete, you can't be feminine. I feel that I can be a beast and play this very physical, aggressive sport while also keeping my femininity while I do it. People would always call me masculine, she would say, and I didn't understand that. But now I'm like, oh, there's a purpose here for it. I could stiff arm, I can fend, and I can get up and tackle as hard as I can. And that's why I want other women to even just get in the gym and lift weights. Like, see what your body can do. Get to a point where you can't do a pull-up. Oh man, I'm so powerful, I can do this. I just think it gave me a new perspective on my body. A bit of her background, via Forbes. Mar is a Vermont native who didn't start playing rugby until she was 17 years old. She played college rugby, helped her team win three national intercollegiate Rugby Association Championships played her first game for the States' Rugby World Cup Sevens team in the year 2018 and competed at the Tokyo Games in the year 2021, where the team finished six. Mar is a prop center, usually among the largest on a rugby team, and told Forbes last year, and I quote, I just run through people and try to set up for something. Mar has scored in all three of the rugby team's games so far at the Paris Olympics, a little outdated, of course, but here's what I will say. I go back to a previous video we showed. When does this become acceptable? <laughs> it's shocking the levels that conservatives will go to because it continually shows that there is no bottom. Alana Mar is an inspiration. She is an athlete. She is an Olympian, something that those on the couch that are putting out their Twitter fingers on could only dream of being in their sleep. She is awesome at what she does. She is a role model, and we stand her. And to see so many try to tear her down simply because of what she looks like shows that they're scraping the bottom of the barrel because it's outdated, it's dumb, it's classless, it's low brow, it's low IQ. It is beyond stupidity. And yet it is the same exact crowd over and over again that will cling to this mantra. We must protect women's sports.
where are they now? Because it's not about protecting women's sports. It's about discrimination. It's about excluding. It's about attacking. And it is fundamentally obtuse to do so.